Good morning and hello from St. John Virgin Islands. You can see behind us a beautiful view of Coral Bay in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Another episode of Joe Mars Brews and Chews. Good morning. We're going to talk about Tuesday's activity. Tuesday's activities, yes. So Tuesday we stayed here and just kind of hung out in the pool and relaxed all day and kind of chilled, mm -hmm. had a chill day. Yep, and then we decided we wanted to have a, uh, I don't want to call it necessarily a fancy dinner, but a more upscale dinner. So we drove into town and it was recommended to us actually a couple days ago, a place called Morgan's Mango. Mm -hmm. Morgan's Mango. I don't know why I can I'll never remember the name. He must call it Morgan's Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a very busy place. You have to have reservations. I saw them turning people away, and they're very strict. When they say they open at 5.30, they open at 5.30, not 5.25. You can sit at the bar if you're early, uh, but they're not seating you till 5.30. And no. like I said, they turned a lot of people away. But um, it was a very nice restaurant that overlooked uh, the road and uh, outside seating, inside seating, very, very pleasant place. Yeah, we get down to Cruise Bay a little early, so we went back to Sundog, and we had a drink there, and mm -hmm. had some peel and eat shrimp, which were delicious. Yes. They were really well seasoned, cooked perfectly. Yeah. Um, the owner came over and chatted with us for a while, which was nice. Mm -hmm. Didn't give us anything free, but you know, he came and chatted <laughs> with us. Yeah, the, the the drinks I had a, a bushwhacker, and uh, at Sundog. At Sundog, yeah. And it was... And I had a Moscow good. Mule, which was good. It was nice and light for summertime. Right. And uh, then our reservations were ready, and we yep. went over to Morgan's Mango, and we got there maybe nine minutes early, so they wouldn't even seat us. We sat at the bar. Yep. I had something called a Caribbean Calypso or something. It was basically passion fruit, passion fruit liqueur, passion fruit puree, mm -hmm. and vodka. It was really, really good. Very sweet, but it was good. And I had what was called the Phoenix. It was uh, sort of like a... It was kind of like a... Like a... Like a, it was a whiskey drink with... Kind uh, of like a whiskey sour, sort of. Almost, yeah. Without the... A little different. Yeah. Without the sour. It was more like a Manhattan, maybe, yeah. with some if, lemon and... Yeah, it was, it was very good. It was interesting. Very good. <clears throat> uh, so then we were, were seated, and um, the... We went there because it was uh, Tuesday is lobster night, and this is a Korean, lo uh, Korean, excuse Caribbean. me, Caribbean lobster, where you essentially pay by the pound, and it's they say it's caught fresh, and they point to where the guy comes in and brings it in. So we were sold on it. And it's one of the restaurants that has white tablecloths. It's very nice. You've mm -hmm. got nice wait staff. Um, so we decided we'd order a bunch of appetizers to start with and then we realized that that was just way too much We didn't even need dinner. So we decided to split one lobster dinner. Yes, cause we really had so much food um, The appetizers we ordered um, Well red snapper ceviche, right? We uh, had tuna, tuna tartare, tartare. Uh, Lamb lollipops. Mm hmm I had a house salad with a mango vinaigrette. And what else? We ordered something else. And we ordered um, the octopus, the oh, grilled, octopus, grilled octopus, which was on a grilled octopus salad, but they changed it to um, be over fingerling potatoes. Mm -hmm. Well, where to start? I'll start with the octopus salad because for me, that was more than likely, other than the lobster, that was the highlight of the meal. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was an intense char on it. The seasoning was great and it was not too chewy, which octopus has a little bite to it, but uh, I thought it was delicious, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, my sister made me try it. She said if I loved her, I would try it. So I took a little bite, and to me, I mean, the char was interesting. I thought it was a little too much char myself, but the um, octopus itself, I thought was a little chewy. It wasn't, it wasn't for me. Oh, I loved it, absolutely loved it. Uh, the, the ceviche, I, um, <clears throat> I tried it, it was good. It's not what I remember ceviche to be. It was a little bit different. I just had a very small taste, and it was, it was fine. Now, nothing that blew me away with the ceviche. Yeah, and I tried the ceviche. I, I broke down and tried it, and it was okay. I mean, yeah. ceviche, ceviche, it's just kind of, it was just a lot of fish and some seasoning yeah. and not really a lot of vegetables in it or anything. The, the tuna tartare was very good. It, it didn't really give you a lot, though. It was just almost like a couple spoonfuls, and you had to eat them on. They weren't quite pita chips. No, I'm not they were sure. plantain chips. Were they? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plantain chips. And uh, I actually like Seasons 52 Tartare. is still mm. better as far as uh, like, agreed. my opinion goes. Agreed. It's still the best that we've had. The lamb lollipops I did not try. Uh, it was good. You know, um, it, it, it's 
it's just a piece of lamb that you stick on a skewer and uh, there you go it, it was all right nothing really fancy now the lobster we ordered a well, well my salad my oh i'm sorry salad. you're right my house salad the greens were a little green they were um very what do i say very uh pungent they were very bitter. strong greens very bitter mm -hmm. um so it kind of overwhelmed the flavor of the salad there was some caramelized nuts on there some goat cheese and the mango vinaigrette was really good but the salad was too overpowering for the toppings on it just the bitterness of the grains was a little too much but it was nice and fresh because we haven't gotten a lot of fresh stuff here right so. i also ordered um with my meal after i had finished the the one cocktail i saw something on there it was brought to my attention it's called a goat's milk stout beer it sounds very strange it's thick has the right amount of bitterness and caramelization i really really liked it you can't have more than one maybe two but i thought it wasn't bad <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, it was it was a very good beer but it's but not for that atmosphere i mean you just feel like you need something lighter it's a good winter beer but i had to try it because i i like that type of beer mm -hmm. Uh, the lobster. We, we we ordered a three pound lobster to sp split between the four of us, and I'd I'd never seen a lobster that big in my life. Yeah, but they don't bring you the claws. They essentially bring you the whole body, that has been cut in half and grilled, and uh, along with a couple sides. It was some Caribbean rice Caribbean and rice. Um, and like a bean. It was almost like a bean salad. They said it was black beans, but it was more like a black bean salad. It mm -hmm. was. I can't remember if it was in cold or warm. It was cold. Uh, and uh plantains plantains yes plantains. i uh i love the lobster i thought it was great but unfortunately like we had said by the time the four of us had finished those appetizers there wasn't a whole lot of room for the lobster but uh when you did cut into it it was succulent it was delicious sweet. it was sweet it was everything a lobster should be mm -hmm. i really enjoyed it so this was a nice restaurant if you're in if you're ever in cruise bay in st john and you want a nice meal and relaxing we should we should uh, a shout out to the our server sam she was a very uh, very attentive very nice young lady yeah it was a good night yeah absolutely okay so bye well till next time <laughs>